Here's a question from Einstein Paredes. By the way, Einstein, I miss you, my friend. It's good that you're uh, sending us a question. How do you get a finger wave effect with a curling iron? All right, let me share two great techniques with you. One of them is called red carpet waves. We're gonna work with a Marcel iron, and we're going to work with our product of choice, Redken Spray Starch 15. Nice control with this technique. One of my favorites with this technique. We're gonna simply divide front to back. So you come in, you divide front to back. Very important you work control, so isolate the back. Now once we have that, you're simply gonna take a diagonal back section. Once you have that diagonal section, I want you to over direct this and pinch at the corner of the eye. Remember, we're going to apply our product of choice. In this particular case, with this technique, Redken Spray Starch 15. Spray it at least six, six inches away so you don't get it too wet. Comb your product through to distribute your product evenly. Now we're gonna come in, here's your method. Because we're on the right side of the head, watch what's gonna happen. I'm gonna grab the section and pinch it with my thumb and index at the right side of the corner of our eye. The iron comes in with the right hand. Now we're gonna come through, iron goes over, look at the cord, over my elbow. So I'm not hitting the client in the face with the cord. Drop the barrel inside. So I'm actually standing on the side of the client. Now we come through, iron goes in. Now look at the pulse, look at your pulse. Now turn your wrist towards the face and look at your watch and read your time. Now just simply slide your thumb down and come back inside the barrel. Go back to a pulse position, pulse. Time, wrap. Come back up to a pulse position, pulse. Look how close my thumb and index finger are. Time and wrap. Pulse, come back to a full, this is a half pulse. Full pulse position, why? So you get a nice full twist. Read your time, now just slide down the section. Take a look at the top inside of the iron. That's a spiral wrap. Take a look at the bottom side of the iron. That's flat wrap. So you're using two wraps to achieve this. And wrap. Now, you need tension. So drop your elbow. Now that relocates these bonds even more with a sense of tension we're giving it. Notice we're not closing the blade on the barrel. That's so we don't get any crease marks on what we created on top of the barrel, inside. Once you're here, let heat work for you. Look how I measure my heat. I take my middle finger and place it right over that spiral wrap. Now, as soon as my finger feels nice and warm or hot, then you know it's baked inside. That's starting to feel nice and warm. That's starting to melt my finger. Time to move on. Lift the barrel back up. Now watch what we're gonna do. We're going to come through and we're gonna bring in the palm of our hand underneath and we're going to simply catch this. And you wanna catch it because if I drop it, it's nice and hot. The length is gonna pull it down. We're gonna reach for our Fashion Work 12. We're gonna come through, nice little pumps of Fashion Work and we're gonna compress with the palm of our hands together. What this is allowing us to read the temperature. It allows me to compress it so I tightly lock those hydrogen bonds back in. Now watch what we're gonna do. Release this. Now look at the cool undulation you get. Work with your large, wide cutting cone. And once you work with this, you're gonna work with the white teeth, Palm the hand comes underneath as a cushion and comb through this Einstein and voila, you get somewhat of a finger motion wave out of that. I know, you know it as a finger wave. But isn't that cool how you get the crest and the valley? You see the spiral wrap created the crest. The valley was created with the flat wrap. Twist, that's pulse. Time, there's your flat wrap. Pulse, time. Hope you enjoy that. That's one way to create it. Let me show you another way. Let's go to the opposite side. Okay, this time we're going to take a section that is nice and square. Just a simple horizontal section. Okay, isolate this and get this out of the way. Okay, come through and take your section. 
Okay, once again, work to the heat styling line, grabbing spray starch 15, minimum six inches away, combing our product through. So we comb our product through to distribute that product evenly. We're gonna come through with, once again, the Marcel iron. Now watch how we're gonna manipulate the iron this time. Look how I have the Marcel handle in the pocket of my thumb and the index finger. Now we're simply gonna come through palm and pinch, index, and thumb. This one's called a push wave, Einstein. So you simply push. Barrel and blade go in, I push, 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 push. Now once you've done that, and you have a lot of heat, now you simply just roll up. So I'm using the blade of the iron this time to create the crest of the wave. The barrel of the iron creates the flat wave, the valley. Okay, so now hold that. See, I've rolled up against the blade. Now, you've, I've over-directed this back towards me. Now watch what we're gonna do this time. Now you come through, you pull your iron out. Iron goes right in where we left, and now I pull, I close, and this time I pull, 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 and I'm doing that very lightly. Once you're here, pull, and use your blade again. So I roll and I use the blade. Now watch how I wanna clean that up. Squeeze your blade and comb through, okay? And let your heat work for you. Look, I'm slightly over-directing that, letting the heat work for me. Okay, once we're here, let your heat work. Now watch what we're gonna do. Pull out of this one, and then come back in, and this time, push, 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 push. Now, what's the difference between the two? Red carpet wave and a push wave. Your push wave is a little softer. Your red carpet wave is deeper with your crest and your valley, whereas your push wave is a little bit softer in terms of the crest and the valley. Once again, back out and pull, 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 pull. I love this one because it creates a little bit more of an organic kind of wave to it. Once again, a little bit more of a distressed. Finger waves to me can be a little bit really perfect. If you want them perfect, go back to the old fashioned way of working with gel and a comb and do it like we were taught in beauty school. But when you work with your irons, this is how I like to create more of a, a wave kind of effect to it. See, I just work my way out to the ends and then once you're out to the end, you can come through and curl up the end. And look how lazy that particular wave looks like. What's really cool, my friends, is you can check out these techniques on a DVD that we have for you called Artificial Texture DVD. You'll see these two techniques plus 19 more techniques with my great buddy, Chris Barron. Check out Artificial Texture. Thanks for the question, Einstein, and I hope that helps you out.